viewers. You probably know your systems way better than us, but just in case, uh, let's have a quick video where we show how to get the Wavetable Creator uh, running with Linux. So this is a virtual machine uh, running Ubuntu, completely vanilla, not even installed, uh, just the nightly um, opened up on a Mac uh, M1, uh, M3 machine. So this is an ARM build of Ubuntu. And yeah, as mentioned, there's nothing really kind of pre-installed or anything at all. So if you just try to run the Wavetable Creator on this, it'll not run. You need to take one extra step. So it's in the manual. You just go to Linux over here and you have the commands that you need. Uh, it should all be very familiar. And again, if you have a running system, you might have all this already pre-configured. I'm not sure if you'd have uh, this part. So for our GUI, you need to have uh, some stuff for Qt to run correctly on Ubuntu anyways. So make sure that everything is updated. Once it's doing that, you can already kind of copy what you need over here. And there's no escaping letting it run. Once it's finished, paste the other command. Takes a minute as well. And once that's done, or we can already start, okay, once that's done, we go to the uh, Wavetable Creator folder into Linux, of course, and we mentioned we're on an ARM, so we go into the ARM folder and we can then double click the Wavetable Creator. And at that point, it should load and everything should be working. All right, that was a quick one. So we can export and go to our documents and we will see that it's created our wavetable. So all right, Linux users, um, let us know how it goes and enjoy the wavetable creator. See you later.